The Information Commissioner says the RCMP destroyed data that was the subject of an access to information request after she warned the force not to, a move that would be against the law. And today, Suzanne Legault had a lot to say about a bid by the Conservatives to rewrite the law in question that would make the RCMP move legal after the fact. Senior correspondent Terry Malofsky explains. Terry. Well, Peter, the Information Commissioner is alleging much more than misconduct. She sees a threat to the democratic order. She says that high officials illegally destroyed documents and are now trying to make that legal by changing the law retroactively. They did not act legally, in my view. Suzanne Legault's job is to make sure government information is not hidden from the citizens who paid for it. Her complaint is about the Long Gun Registry. It was abolished in 2012, but before that abolition, Legault says the RCMP illegally failed to comply with a valid request for data about the registry, even though the government promised it would comply. In this letter, then, Public Safety Minister Vic Taves promised the RCMP will abide by the right of access. So the government clearly told you in writing that they would preserve these records. They did. And they didn't do that. They didn't. Instead, once the registry was abolished, the data was destroyed. In fact, there was possibly a criminal offense that had been committed. But when Legault told the government that, its answer was a clause in the new omnibus budget bill that would make the destruction legal by retroactively exempting the gun registry from the access to information law. Does it mean that the government is respecting the rule of law in our democracy by attempting to erase potential criminal liability of several members of the government in very high places and to do so retroactively? Besides that, she says it's a terrible precedent. This could have been done you know, to uh, erase the authority of the Auditor General in 2005 when she was investigating uh, the sponsorship scandal. Plus, she says, the minister who is supposed to enforce the law, Peter McKay, is instead trying to change the law to get the government off the hook. It certainly raises questions as to whether or not the Attorney General of Canada is in a conflict of interest. The destruction of government documents is a violation of Canadian law. Who gave the order? That was never answered, and the questions kept coming. Now we're going and retroactively writing a law to prevent an officer of parliament from protecting the constitutional rights of Canadians. Uh, these guys are really starting to take us into uncharted territory. Not so, said the Prime Minister. The RCMP did the right thing. The RCMP have acted fully within Parliament's intention in destroying the data. And, he said, changing the law retroactively will just mean the information law doesn't conflict with scrapping the registry. At best, that is a loophole. Um, I'm not sure there really is a contradiction, but to be perfectly clear, the government is clarifying the, act, the Information Act to make sure it is in full conformity with Parliament's already expressed wishes on the long gun registry. The RCMP also denies any wrongdoing, but this is not over. The Information Commissioner is taking it to court, and the government's record in court isn't that good, Peter. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Terry.